times now, you know, and, and I feel like I should be given a shot. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that you get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. No. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> Think about it every night and day. Hear my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. See you running through that open judge door. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I know she regretted that. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Man, this is the real people of the internet. Thank you for dropping in. My name is X, and my co-host's name is Z. Z. No doubt. We are most definitely reaction video team. We are most definitely about to come at you and break down this video that's going viral right now around the world. And for you judges out there, man, if you're not trying to listen to the citizens and you think you can control them with the straw, man, Lord have mercy. Mm. That day is over. Oh, my God. <laughs> you will most definitely have to judge from a Zoom. And not only from a Zoom, but behind. You know that whole thing the Pope judges from behind? Like the bulletproof window kind of thing? Oh, uh, like the podium that they speak from. Lord of mercy. You got to have military there now, you know, judging these right. people. Lord of mercy. Right. The day that comes that... They all show up with all of their posse saying, hey, take my crew if you think so. Right. <laughs> you and what army? You this what, army. <laughs> yeah, you and you. you and for a little court procedure like a traffic violation, oh Lord of Mercy, you have to have a team of military there. Oh, goodness. The day is coming. You better get right with the Lord. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead, Z. Most definitely tell me what's oh going on. What do you gosh. think about this whole shenanigans up here you mm -hmm. know the dude flying that's about six feet flight you know what i mean like that thing got yeah hops. yeah it yeah. needed to be in the high high pole vault or something in the, in the olympics yeah you need to be in the olympics <laughs> he was trying to tell i was getting my getting my judge i was getting it all right right i mean i've been working on these calves for a right. long time <laughs> And so I think I got it. I think I got my leap, my vertical leap up to about six feet. Let me test it out on your arm. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, T. Go ahead and tell me what do you think oh about this. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. You're hilarious. Um, so I think a couple of different things. If you notice at first, when he began to speak, yeah. he was respectful. Yeah, he was, he was. He was saying, hey, you know, I'm not currently committing any crimes. I've kind of changed my life around a little bit. Please, can you give me a chance? I feel like I deserve to be given like a shot to and show you that I'm doing does. good. Yeah, who doesn't? We all as humans make mistakes. And if we've done a 180 and we're doing our best and, you know, why not give another chance? Why not put him in some kind of a, a class or a rehab group or with a mentor that can help him get, find a career or learn a trade? Why not? Why is it just I'm gonna throw you in jail? Why? Why? So correct. He was literally re very respectfully asking for a chance. She cut him off. She didn't let him finish. She wasn't even looking at him in the eye. So she was not treating him in a humane manner. When someone is speaking to you, right. and their life is on the line, and they're afraid that they're about to go to jail, you can't even look them in the eye when they're talking to you. He has to talk to the poodle hair that you have on the top of your head because you're looking down at your paperwork. The only time she looked up to look him in the eye... Is when he came across that damn banister. Right. Actually, right before that, when she started to jeer at him, the little snarky response she gave him, like, <laughs> and now, no, I think you're going to get a taste of something. Now, that's the only time she looked at him, if was you, to put him down. Right. If you can't do the job and you're overstressed, maybe it's time for you, Judge, just to take a step down. We, we got to remember that these are hu human cases, and if... You know, if you can't find the humanity in the whole thing and you just see the numbers, Lord have mercy, it's all over. Yeah. I feel frustrated for the young black man, but we most definitely got another clip coming for you. And I'm going to give you my take after you see that clip. Other than that, hold on your britches. Okay, let's go. I appreciate that, but I think it's time we got to taste of something else. I just can't lose history. And according to the laws of the state of Nevada, this court...
Lord have mercy. Oh, the memes have most definitely begun. Are you ready for the Z? Lord have mercy. Yes. Yo, man, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> what, what was going on with the bailiff's belly? Can you tell me? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was like a really funny spoof. And my funniest part, the best part, was when the guy comes up with his child and he gives the bailiff the baby. Like, here, hold my baby right, right. while I jump on the judge. And the bailiff's just sitting there with their belly out holding a random stranger baby. No, yeah, he, I think he was eating some Takis or something. I mean, why not? <laughs> Lord have mercy. We can... <laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. Whoever did that, who thought of that? Lord of mercy. Y'all are doing too much out there. Lord of mercy. <laughs> I cannot imagine what this whole law thing is, man, because at the end of the day, man, like, there has to be a stop. There, I mean, there has to be somewhere where we're stopping as professionals. And we're saying, hold up, just like how they do the um, the land, right? Every seven years, there's a stop, right? There's a stop here. Let's readjust every seven years, readjust this court system, readjust these laws. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's readjust and let's update and let's get hum more humane. There should be a humane society in the court system, but not in the doggy system. <laughs> But there's not, and you can most definitely see, you know? I feel bad for the judge. I feel bad, even if even if she had it coming, you know what I mean? Like, nobody deserves an elbow, right. an elbow to the jaw, because how many thousands of black men have you most definitely jailed in that didn't, you know, require being jailed? You just was like, hey, you just a number. They taught me how to do this. Get your butt to the jail. Right. You know... And I feel for the black man, man, because at the end of the day, man, it's the society has most definitely, you know, used um, uh, color, uh, black people, colored people, African-Americans as, you know, uh, one of the first um, kind of, you know, laws that came down on a specific ethnic group. You know what I mean? If you don't know what I'm saying, go look up black coats. You know what I mean? Oh, go, go, man. You know what I mean? Rabbit hole. Yeah, if you think I'm lying, and those black coats kind of transcend, and, and there wasn't no update. There wasn't, right. because they were it's like, still Yo, there. They're still on the still, books. I don't even know why straw mans are on the books. Like, I don't even know why people operate in a straw man capacity. Because at the end of the day, man, when we're looking at uh, humans, we're, why do we need to turn humans into something other than human? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but this is what we're faced with. And this is what we are most definitely um, dealing with is that humans don't want to recognize other humans. We want to, you know, compete and you know, capitalism, everybody. And we want to control everyone. And we don't, we're not taking into personal concern. When you take this black man out of society, in regardless of his history and he's trying to um he's trying to figure it out and work it out rehabilitate really rehabilitate himself and you don't hear it out instead of hearing it out he could she could have did a lot she could have placed she could have she could have placed him on house arrest she could have placed him um if he did some she, she could have placed him where he has to meet him with his po he she could have placed him on psychological evaluation where he has to go see a psychologist before he's let back into society. It's a lot of things. Yeah, that there's a lot of options. Yeah. Other than take him out and put him in the most worst living condition on the planet, which is jail or prison. When you take one out, you're taking more. You're taking out a whole village. You know what I mean? Like, now, for the ones that are out there doing criminal activity and hurting people. You know, busting people up with their gun. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Go straight to jail. <laughs> but with the ones that are trying to work it out, we need to, there needs to be somewhere in that system that allows for number one, for there to be a reboot. And that also allows for the system to see what they're doing every seven years, just like how you don't farm on land every seven years but you got you know people farming on land every year now it's no stopping you know I mean? and we wonder why the soil is destroyed you know what i mean like hello 
So I think we should take that into consideration, man, when we're doing these judges, because especially now, 2024 is the day for atonement, is the year for atonement, is the year for all the karmic stuff that really start to surface and come back. So, um, you know, energetically, let's do this. Let's keep it in mind that people are human. And mm -hmm. let's put them back into a human box. You know what I mean? And yeah, exactly. Instead of treating him like case number 87456 on the docket, if she had just taken a minute to just look at him while he was right. speaking, to give him a chance and contemplate, what other alternate programs right. do I have that not only just throw him in jail, but just to maybe help him try to get going in the right direction? So he's not a repeat offender. So he's not just catch and release. What right. can I do to help make this person's life better and, and help them become a model citizen instead of just punish, punish, punish. But I guess that's what you get when you have a privatized, um, um, what is it called? A prison complex, prison, yeah. which funds the prison legal system. But let's complex. not even go there. Let's not even go there. Let's not because they're not listening. No way. Because they need to get jumped over and punched in the face, too. They ain't listening. So anyway, this is our show. Most definitely keep it rolling, man. Thank you. If you're a new subscriber for subscribing to our show, please make sure you put it in the comments what you think about our show and also put it in the comments, man, regardless if it's yay or nay. We love all of it. Grieve your grievances. If you think our topics are racial or nothing or biased or whatever, like put it in the comments. So I can, like, we want to see what you think, and we most definitely care. You know, we want this to be an outlet for people so they won't have all this impress, you know, just be pressure, pressure, pressure. Just like this young man that jumped over, you know, a six foot banister kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. He's feeling some kind of pressure. Of you know, I mean? we don't want you to do that. You know? Yeah, please don't. So let this be your outlet in these comments, and we'll go back and forth with you. Other than that, text this to anyone. This is the real people of the internet. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And keep it moving. What do you think about that, Z? Is that cool, Z? I totally agree. I think it's cool. We're Audi 5000. Peace out. Peace, light, and love.